that, ladies and gentlemen, is Mosiah, aka Sean Roberts, recently signed to Don Corleone Records. Mosiah, welcome to Blazing with Sparks TV. I know you're exuberant, but I can't stop now. <laughs> no, you went from Mosiah to Sean Roberts, um, and you've been recently signed to Don Corleone Records. Mm -hmm. You're not only um, one of the main musicians, but you're also a writer in the camp, correct? Yeah. Where are you from? Introduce yourself to the world. Well, um, as you know, Sean Roberts. I'm from Manchester. I grew up in Mayagali, a small rural community there. I went to, went to um, high school in St. Elizabeth, Monroe College. Did seven years there. I mean, uh, pick up violin on the sixth year. You, you taught yourself to play the violin or did you receive formal training? Well, actually, um, at, at the time when I started playing the violin, it was through a teacher mm -hmm. that lived nearby. Right. So what I did, I, I, like, I took lessons there for probably about a month or so. And then I discovered that there was so much information on the internet. So I started going through the internet, like just researching stuff, YouTube, reading notes, like everything, just a lot of research. So for the most part, you're self-taught? Pretty much. Is the violin the only instrument that you play? No, yeah, man. Um, I, play, I play the guitar. Wow. Yeah, man. I play the keyboards. Wow. I recently took up the ukulele as well. The I ukulele? Where's that? You have it here? Uh, no, it's not here. Man. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It's here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. All right, before you get to it, before you get to it, um, who are who are some of the uh, sources of your inspiration? Inspiration. Um, certainly, as I said, my father. Like you know, we don't get along. <laughs> right. That way, like he's a very good musician, and he. It was through his. It was through him discouraging me from music that gave me the drive to say, "Boy, well, this man to it." This is this is what I want to do with my life. At what age did you discover that you really wanted to do music? What age? Yeah. Despite the fact that your father discouraged you. At what age? Yes. Honestly, it's been like as far back as I can remember. Mm -hmm. I've always been really fond of music. And I've always felt comfortable around music. And you, you do a lot of work on the North Coast, yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. A lot of hotel stuff. Um, in the hotel lobbies, like, I play by myself, you know? Oh, so you do a lot of solo work? Yeah, man, a lot of solo work. And I, I play with bands as well, but not as much as solo work. And I, I do a lot of weddings as well. Sort of thing. So you are signed to the Don Corleone camp, one of the main writers. What are some of the songs that you have contributed to so far? So far, um, so far, well, Protégé's upcoming album, The Eight Year Affair, mm -hmm. and we've done extensive work on that album, you know, from playing my violin to <laughs> guitar to help, helping write lyrics. Um, I've contributed to stuff for uh, Gentleman, mm -hmm. um, j Boog, you know, j Boog from Hawaii. That's yeah, right. J-Boog did something for play uh, the ukulele. Mm -hmm. um, and quite quite a few other projects but I can't really recover. Alright, so what I want you to do is to do a solo violin piece. Um would you would you be would you be able to do a John Legend? John Legend. Alright, give us a piece of that and a reggae tune. All right, all right. One your display of versatility. And maybe if you can get to the ukulele, give all us right. a piece of it. So what are, what piece are you gonna do now? Alright, um I'm gonna give you an ordinary piece from John Legend. Rotted big tune.
Back, back, all right, give me a reggaeton. Any reggaeton or any dance hall, any genre, I'm leaving it to you. I haven't a clue. I'm just, I'm just, I'm looking at your face because you're so intense. You're so passionate when you're stroking the strings. Yeah, All right, what was that? Oh, that was protege. Um, ba, ba, ba. All right, so the ukulele. Let's get to the. What the hell is a ukulele? Uh, a ukulele is basically. Um, I know it's a stringed instrument. Yeah. I think it's a tiny string instrument. Yeah, is it smaller than a violin? Um, it's actually a relative of the guitar. Okay. It's like a small guitar for string. Oh, uh, you can, you can. I mean, I recently took it up. Uh, so. For persons who might not be familiar with your vocal abilities, you wanna do one of your songs a cappella? Oh, no problem. All right. All right. So this song is called "Searching for Love." Okay. Yeah. Is this new? <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's something that I've been working on. All right. Yeah. Why are you searching for love when I'm right here? Why are you searching for love when it's been so clear? Tell me how could you be searching the world when I'm the one that you've been dreaming of? Have you dreamed enough, yo, yo, yo? Because I then remember when I was nine and when you were ten We were so innocent, then used to walk together, go to school in the morning them Cause I was your closest friend Then you moved away for a while Trust me girl, it broke my heart as a child And they said me never understand love true meaning yet Loneliness was surely a feeling, yes And when we see you the other day, girl, you look so lovable All grown up like Rudy Oaks to give me deja vu, yeah You have felt somehow connected to you And when me sit down and I talk and me ask you how you do Say you need a man but you don't know what to do Been searching the world Looking for the perfect one And come back home with two empty and call you searching for you Oh my god, that's absolutely awesome what, 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 what words of encouragement do you have for youngsters who are looking to, you know, become involved in the business? A lot of them probably think about just coming into the business as a producer uh, or as a, a singer, as an artist. But obviously there are other options available to them because you are a writer. You also do engineering and you also play instruments. And you, you, pretty, you, pretty, you pretty much are a comprehensive artistic individual. What's your advice to the My youngsters? Advice to, 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 to the youths that would like to pursue music as a career, my advice would be certainly just, just take the time out to learn the science behind you. Just learn, learn something that is behind the curtain of music. You know, and try try to get somebody who can mentor you, if if possible, and make sure you study the history of music as well. It's very important because if you don't know where you're coming from, you're pretty much lost. You don't know the direction, so pay attention to history. Um, you're big on reggae music. Um, something that is uh, quite uncanny for a, a Jamaican youth, since everybody pretty much wants to go dance hall. Why reggae for you? Why reggae for me? Because well, I think that reggae represents Jamaica as it is. I think, and besides, besides reggae being the the chief representing factor of Jamaica's culture, I just said reggae music because there is more musical value to reggae music. 
I'm, I, I'm not saying this from a biased standpoint, but I, mean, like, I, I think reggae has more musical value to it. And as, a, as a musician myself, I find myself appreciating reggae music a lot. There you heard it, folks. Mosiah, a.k.a. Sean Roberts, chief, one of the chief writers, one of the chief musicians, one of the chief engineers in the Don Corleone camp. Big up.